Yo, what is going on there, everyone? Welcome back to a new plugin showcase. So we're going to be going over AJ leaderboards for today, and this is a brand new plugin that actually just dropped on Spigot. So this is free to download on Spigot, and he's going to be adding a lot more features in the future. But basically, what this plugin does is it uses placeholder API to get values of other plugins, and then with those values, you can actually make your own leaderboard system and have like a top one, top two, top three rank uh, with a player name and then that specific value that you're using so this is going to be useful uh, for if you want to find like top players that had the most fish caught or top players that had the most pigs killed or something along those lines that uses a specific value and then with that you can make your leaderboard alrighty guys so to get started you need to find your placeholders that you want to use for your leaderboards and so I have went ahead and made a list so I want to be counting a top balance top kills, top blocks, broken, as well as top votes, and this is going to be using uh, new voter wire and super B vote. And so uh, first things that we need to do is find our balance. So I'm going to come to placeholder API website. I will leave this link down in the description, but we need to go ahead and find vault. And so we can go ahead and click vault. And this is the expansion that we actually need to download. So I'm just going to make this simple and put it in my text file. So this is the one that we need to download. And then here is the placeholders that we have. So this actually does include uh, sort of like a top uh, player rank already, but we want to just go ahead and get the value for the specific balance for each player. And that is how we're going to make our leaderboard. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that in right here. The next one on our list is top kills and this is done by the statistic uh, placeholder already included. So we can go to statistic and here's all the various types of statistics that you can actually calculate. And then now we need the player uh, kills. And so here is the specific placeholder we're going to be using and we'll just paste it in there. So there we go. That is the statistic. And then we can also use the same one for blocks broken. Now we need the top votes and this is going to be using a super B vote. And this is the plugin I'm going to be using in order to calculate the votes. So this is the expansion that we need to download in game. And then here is the specific placeholder that we're going to be using. And so uh, in order for, to use this, obviously you will need a super pre vote plugin and a uh, new votifier for this to work. So as you see by my examples, all my placeholders are using some sort of numerical value to calculate the placeholder. So make sure whatever plugin that you're trying to use the placeholder, it does have some sort of value that it calculates and stores. Um, so that's pretty much everything that we want to do with this. Now we can go back in game. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Alright, so now back in game, let me go ahead and bring my file over. So we need to use these uh, commands to go ahead and start downloading these specific expansion packs. So we go ahead and just download the vault, and then we can download our statistic one right here. And this counts for both the kills and the blocks broken that we have. And then the last one is going to be a super vivo and just like that. And then after all that, we can go ahead and reload at placeholder API. So now we can start making our leaderboards with AJ leaderboards and you can just do the main command. There's pretty much just one thing that will add the placeholder to start tracking. And so we can do AJ LB and then add. And then now we need the placeholders that we are going to be using. So here is the vault. So this will go ahead and do the vault. So we can do add the vault. So that one has been created. Now we need to do the kills. Uh, so let me go ahead and do the, pretty much the same command. And then the last one is going to be our votes. So let's go ahead and make that. So once our leaderboards have been created, we can actually go ahead and start adding them to other plugins. And so I'm going to be using uh, Holographic Display's Holographic Extension uh, in order to show placeholders within Holographic Display. So make sure you have those plugins installed. And so uh, we can go ahead and do HD Create. I'm going to call this About Top, right? So I'm going to paste in this uh, placeholder that you will need. And so this is on their wiki. I will also put this link down in the description. So here is the placeholder that you will need. So it's AJ leaderboards underscore board and then underscore and then whatever placeholder name. So this first example, I'm going to be using vault as because this is about top. So 
uh, the name is just going to be the specific placeholder that you had. So this is going to be vault and then ECO balance. And so make sure you remove the percents in that specific one. Now we can specify the number. And so this is going to be, you know, the first value or the second. So this is like third place, first place, second place. I just think about it as that. And then the name represents the player in that specific spot. So that is going to be the name. Now we need to get the specific value of uh, the person in that number one spot. So I'm going to head and just copy this whole thing again. And then we can do uh, like a color codes and do a dash. And then this uh, end part is going to be the specific values. So we need to remove the name and put in value. And this will be the value matched with number one. So I hope that makes sense. And I'll, we'll be doing a few more in a second. But I'm going to just put this as a color code B. And then we'll do uh, another color code B right here. So let's go ahead and change that. As you see, here is the first uh, place value. So if I do bow top, it's just me and someone else. So this essentially is going to be representing the bow top in the holograms, which is pretty cool. So pretty much as simple as that. And so now the next one I'm going to just do is the votes. And so we can do HD create, and I'm just going to call this votes. And then we can go ahead and edit the first line of votes and set the line. Here we go. So let's go ahead and pretty much do the same thing. Uh, number one, and then I'm going to ahead and just paste in whatever that we had before. But this time I'm going to be using the super B vote placeholders. B votes and and then a first place name, and then I went ahead and copy this again. And then we'll do a little dash right here. And then now we need the value uh, at the end here. So I went ahead and make this, uh, we'll make this green. And so everything will match. And we'll go ahead and paste it. And there we go. As you see, there is four. Uh, say you wanted to do the second one. So we can do the add line. And then we'll just go ahead and change the value. So this would be the second place. And then come over to the very end here. And then we can change the number to two as well. So there we go. So if there's no one in that specific spot it will just go ahead and do a dash but when you know when players are on the server and uh, getting up their votes then that will actually change and just like that now you have leaderboards obviously when players are on your server it will go ahead and change but i just want to give you guys two examples of how uh, you can set up leaderboards for your server and using those specific placeholders so i hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you have any questions down below all the links will be down in the description to go ahead and check them out i'll see you guys in the next video peace out <laughs>